Hey everyone, Alex here from Canines and Equines, and I'm super excited because Coda's Gunner Kennel just arrived, and I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like coming straight out of the box and how you put it together coming up in a moment. All right, so real quick before we get started, I chose to go with the Gunner Kennel because I'm looking for a kennel to create the dogs while I travel. Uh, I know that there's a lot of other good brands out there, like Rufflin's one that's super popular, and impact crates are super popular as well. The purpose of this crate is for my car pretty much. Coda doesn't need a kennel in the house. I mean, it's always good to have one, but this is mainly going in my SUV. So when I'm doing some of these longer road trips or going up to train with him, he's safe in the back. And I mean, honestly, you just can't beat Gunner Kennel when it comes to some of the safety ratings. If you guys go on their site, you can actually see some different crash tests they've done and they show how stable that crate is in the back of the car, especially if it's strapped down. Now, I personally did not buy the tie down straps yet. I'm probably going to. I just waited because I wanted to make sure that, I wanted to see kind of where, like how it's gonna fit in my SUV, which I can show you guys and kind of figure out how I wanna lay out my SUV because eventually when I get another dog crate for my next larger dog in there, I wanna make sure that everything's kind of laid out optimally so I still have room to put luggage and store some other stuff. So here we go. All right, so when you open up the box, this is what it looks like. Now this is the GR1 intermediate size. So it comes nicely packaged. It doesn't appear to be any damage in here at all. And I watched those UPS guys haul it up to my steps. So pretty well packaged in here. Everything looks solid. There is extra packaging. So I'll get that out in a second. All right, so here's what we have. It came in basically three pieces. We have a bottom here, the top of the kennel, and then the door in the back. And also I should mention, came with this which looks like it's gonna be a bunch of components and parts and hopefully instructions. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the first step is we're gonna take the lid and put it on the bottom and it gives you some hex bolts, all right, with washers. So it tells us to put all six on, but not to fully tighten them right away. Don't forget that you're going to need some 16 wrench, right, to tighten them up. But they do specifically say not to tighten it too tight so that you can get the door in. Now, I've stuck the door in here already. I haven't screwed these in yet. That's what I'm about to do. I'm about to take these screws and screw it on. But there are instructions in case you decide you don't want the door to open to the left. You can flip this and actually change it so it's a right hand open. Um, I'm fine with the opening to the left, so I'm going to leave it this way and I'm going to go ahead and use these six uh, screws and washers to get the door on. Alright guys, so I just finished putting together Coda's GR1 Intermediate Gunner Kennel. And now let me just read you quick the dimensions. So the exterior of this is 34 inches long, 23 inches wide, and 28.5 inches high. And the interior is 30 inches long, 18 inches wide with 25 inches uh, high. And it's 19 inches wide at the kennel's widest interior point. So, <laughs> okay, sorry. When you go on the Gunner website, they are going to show you what they think the proper fit is for a dog. Coda is around 19 inches at the withers. I personally did not want him jammed in here, and I'm going to just show you real quick what he looks like so coda come here so you can see what this looks like with coda inside here and he is 20 inches tall and about 28 inches long so again this is the intermediate and they prefer a tighter fit for your dog in the car but i know that coda doesn't like a super tight fit and so i didn't want him to be um, feeling uncomfortable in his crate so if i shut this door you can see he fits in there nicely, but he would have plenty of room to move around 
and lay down in there. Good boy. So, there we go. GR1, intermediate, gunner kennel. All right, I hope you guys found that video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. And if you guys have any more questions specifically to this gunner kennel, let me know and I'll try to answer them for you. I am planning to drop it down to my car soon, so I can always show you guys that setup if you want to see it. Please also hit that like and subscribe button as it helps other people find these videos and it also helps the YouTube algorithm for me. So I definitely would appreciate it and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.